AI face swap just got a huge update thanks to Midjourney. And if you haven't used Midjourney before, it's the most powerful AI text to image generator out there. And you could now do face swaps right inside of Midjourney. And I'll show you step by step how to do it in this video. Step one is you have to make sure you have a Midjourney account and you also have joined Midjourney on Discord. If you haven't done that, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, I did publish a video showing you exactly how to set up Midjourney for complete beginners. So if you're a complete beginner, watch that video, set up Midjourney inside of Discord, and I'll show you the rest in this video. Now on the left side of Discord, you wanna find the plus sign because we need to add a server. Press the plus sign, and we wanna create our own server. This is pretty simple. And then click for me and my friends, and then name it something. And it doesn't matter what you name it. This is your own server, but you could invite other people to it. For this purpose, we're not gonna invite anyone besides a couple of different bots. So we'll press create. So with step two complete, step three is we need to invite the mid-journey bots. So we need to go to the mid-journey server. Again, I already set this up in the previous video. I already joined the server. And we need to find this thing called mid-journey bot on the right side. It will also be available in your direct messages. You just have to find Midjourney bots and then add it to server. So I'm going to click this and I want to choose my own server, the one I just created, which is this one. And I'll press continue and I'll authorize it. So now if you look over here, this is the new server I just created. I could jump into it. And as you can see on the right side, I'm in the server. The Midjourney bot is in the server but the face swap bot is not yet in the server. So I have to invite that and then we'll have all the bots that we need. So to do that, I have to invite that and I'll put a link in the description, it makes it a little bit easier. I have it in a different server, so I'm gonna click on it and this is the link I'm including in the description. If you click on this link, it's gonna bring you to this page and this time we wanna add it to the server we just created, which is this one, and I'm gonna press continue. So whatever you name your server, pick that, authorize that one. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the new server I just created. So it should be three things now, myself, the face swap bot and the mid journey bot. And now we go to step number five, which is I need to type in save ID. This is what you should see as long as you have that new face swap bot, click on it. And then you'll get two different prompts here. It's going to ask you to drop an image right here. So this is gonna be the image that is the original image. So the picture of me in this case, and then I'll face swap it with something I'm gonna create inside of Midjourney. So I'll select this first. This is a picture of me that I just got sitting right here. So I'll select that picture here and we have to name it. I'm just gonna name it face swap and I'll press enter. And it says ID name face swap created. So now I'm gonna create basically the image that I'm gonna use with the face swap and I'm gonna use the mid journey bot to create something from scratch. So I'm gonna type in slash imagine and this is going to be the prompt I'm gonna put in. So if you wanna follow mine, I'll put it in the description to a couple of different options for you. So cyberpunk is gonna be the first one. Uh, then male, you could do male, female. Close up portrait, so it knows it's a portrait shot. Looking at camera. This will ensure that they're not looking sideways. They usually look sideways if you don't say this. Then ultra realistic and 4K. Those are the prompts I'm gonna use. I'm gonna press enter. Now this is gonna generate those images for me. It's gonna give me four options, then I'll show you what I got. And I got my four image generated here. If you don't like them, you could just press this icon here. I've done that a couple of times to get exactly what I'm looking for. And if I want variations on any one of these, I could press V1. This is V1, 2, 3, and 4. Or I could up-res them with U1. So I'm going to up-res U1, which is this first one here, to get a better resolution version of it. And let's do 4 also. So then that's going to give me two different options. Now, to do the face swap, look how easy this is. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to right-click on it. And there's an option here for apps. And I have the in-swapper right, this one, click it, and it's gonna swap. It's creating a new one here with a new face swap. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. I could do it with this one too. I'll do app, in swap, and I'll wait a second for those two to appear. And there you go, in a few seconds, I got the two different variations here. And if I like it, I could click on it. I could open it in a browser to get full picture, and I could right click and save this image to my download folder just like that, and I have it. So it opened as a JPEG here, and there you go, I could post this anywhere I want. 
and my team and I are putting together an entire mid-journey course, as well as really an entire platform to teach the latest tools in AI and keep it really up to date. It's gonna be a Netflix style subscription platform where you could pretty much learn everything for beginners in the world of AI to be more productive. So I'll put a link to that in the description. It's almost ready. I'll notify you as soon as it is. And I hope to catch you on the next video.